meet the Aspen Bolete, Alberta's provincial mushroom. Here we are with Denis Manzer. We just finished a plant walk with some folks and uh, we stuck around afterwards to venture through the forest, see what we could find. And yeah, we found... we found some, well, they're related to porcinis. Yeah. This is the this is just like meat of the forest, eh, Malcolm? There we are. This the shaggy good. stalked Lexinum or the Aspen Bolete. Yeah, so we are uh, kind of just outside Bragg Creek, uh, Aspen Forest. So this is a mushroom that has a symbiotic relationship with the Aspen trees. So where there are Aspens, you'll find these kind of midsummer growing. And here's some key identifying characteristics for you. Very easy to identify because it has pores, a spongy layer of pores instead of gills. The other thing, of course, is that classic orange cap, the top and then what they call the scabbard stalk. And you can tell it's still integral with a little, you hear that? <laughs> nice little buns. <laughs> we got a couple nice little buns here, hey Malcolm? Yeah, pat those buns. <laughs> All right. But yeah, that's nice. Cool. Those cool. are amazing and they actually do best when you dry them and slice them. Because when you dry them, they become, they get this incredible fragrant like umami flavor. Totally. So this is a mushroom that's fairly uh, high kind of moisture content, especially the older that it gets. Uh, so there's a certain point you don't want to pick it, you don't want to eat it. Uh, but if you can get them young and, yeah. you know, Denise using that little tapping technique to uh, gauge, you know, the density of it, uh, they can yeah. get quite soggy. But even naturally, even when they're kind of prime, best sliced up, put into a pan and then let you let them sweat out their moisture and then you add any kind of oil that you were going to use for frying. Yeah. But uh, your favorite is to actually cut them and dry them, hey? Yeah, absolutely. And you can powder it and use it in soups and thicken it and flavor it. Yeah. And always remember when you pick the mushroom, you're actually going to be encouraging. It actually stimulates the mycelium. So the more you pick the mushrooms, the more there will be. Totally, because this is the fruiting body, the reproductive part of the fungi, the mushroom. And uh, so it, so if you pick one, it goes, wait, I got to put another. I still got to reproduce, put out my spores. So we're just going to kind of spend some time walking through the forest here and uh, with our eyes open. Oh, look, here we go. Here's another one right there. So where there's one, there's more. Oh, and two. Okay, there's one right there, one right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, hope you're having a good afternoon. We just finished a plant walk and now it's our time to uh, just be in the forest and forage. <laughs>